loved. That fall, Puffy hit the papers again, this time because of his romance with actress Jennifer Lopez. The media couldn't get enough of the glittering pair. Everybody's writing about you. There's always rumors about you, too. How do you deal with it? What, you have got something you want to tell us in the press? We don't care. <laughs> Puffy Combs and Jennifer Lopez, probably one of the most glamorous couples just in history. They understood each other. They were both famous, both busy. Um, so he probably didn't have to explain a lot to her. You know, she's one of the most beautiful people in the world, and, and I'm a pretty nice guy myself. <laughs> But on December 27, 1999, the high-profile couple drew some unwanted attention. Around 11 p.m., Sean and Jennifer headed out to Club New York in Manhattan for a night of partying. Their entourage included newly signed rapper Jamal Shine Barrow and Puffy's bodyguard, Anthony Wolf Jones. According to court documents, Combs traded insults inside the club with a man named Scar. The man allegedly threw money in Puffy's face. Suddenly, a fight broke out and gunshots were fired. The entire event took five seconds from beginning to end and it was complete chaos. And when it was over, some people were unfortunately um, injured, one person seriously injured. According to police, Puffy and J-Lo then jumped into a 1999 Lincoln Navigator and sped away. Puffy thought someone was trying to kill him and security threw them into a car that they did not come in and the car took off. When authorities caught up with the vehicle, Puffy and Jennifer were taken into custody. Lopez was later released without being charged. According to the police report, a handgun was discovered under the passenger seat. At the end of the day, uh, I think he was not fleeing a crime scene. I think he believed that he was fleeing for his life. In December 1999, shots fired in a Manhattan nightclub left three people injured. According to police records, Sean Combs and his girlfriend Jennifer Lopez left the scene of the shooting. They were arrested a short time later when a handgun was recovered from their vehicle. J-Lo was released based on an evaluation of the evidence, but Puffy faced charges. Sean Combs, also known as Puff Daddy, and Anthony Jones, also known as Wolf, have been indicted today on weapons charges. The defendants are charged with criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree and third degrees for the possession of loaded 9 millimeter guns. In grand jury testimony, Combs' driver accused Sean of allegedly offering him $50,000 to claim the weapon as his own. Puffy pled not guilty on all counts. The charges against me are 100% false, and hopefully due, due to time, we'll start to see that. Thank you very much. He was innocent. He always maintained that he was innocent. He was angry. He was stunned by the decision to arrest him. And he was determined to be vindicated. Puffy was defiant. But stories in the press questioned his innocence and his image. Some people started to think, like, was there just too much going on in the whole bad boy camp? Was there too much ego that would lead to violence? The trial began in January 2001. Combs arrived at the courthouse with his attorneys, famed lawyers Ben Braffman and Johnny Cochran. Reporters swarmed. Every single thing that he worked for and built, it was all on the line. He still had the proud walk, shoulders back, chin up. But you could see it all in his face that it was weighing on him. Witnesses testified they saw both Puffy and rapper Jamal Shine Barrow fire shots inside the club. The defense argued that Shine acted alone and in self-defense. On March 1st, Combs took the stand. It was probably one of the most intense moments I've ever witnessed in a courtroom. Um, the tension in the air was so thick, I think you could actually feel it, touch it. If convicted, the 31-year-old rap mogul faced 15 years behind bars. On March 16, 2001, after three days of deliberation, the jury announced their decision. I was praying. I think Puffy was reading his Bible. And then 
Puffy's verdict was read and it was five not guilties. I actually started to cry. The jury did just the right thing, and I'd like to praise this jury. They were fantastic. I just want to say I give all glory to God. I give all glory to God. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be able to walk out here to talk to y'all today. I'm just really right now, I'm just very emotional. Combs' protege, Jamal Shine Barrow, was not as lucky. The young rapper was found guilty of assault, criminal possession of a weapon, and reckless endangerment. Shine was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Sean survived the trial, but his relationship with Jennifer Lopez did not. After dating for 18 months, the couple split. I got caught up in the hype a little bit. You know, Jennifer, she definitely a bad chick, but I was still in love with Kim. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't marry Jennifer if I was still in love with Kim. After a very public breakup and an ugly court case, Sean needed a hiatus from the limelight.